Hello, everybody, and welcome back after my hiatus. I know it was a long break, but I definitely needed it, and the time let me get to work on some fun projects and catch up on life in general. But we're back now to kick off 2024 with the first What If of Season 3. And with Valentine's Day coming up in just a bit, what better way to kick it off than with a relationship-themed episode? So today we'll be talking about Clearsight, Darkstalker, and what might have happened if Clearsight had returned and set him free. Clearsight managed to find another continent. She flew across the ocean, following her visions and trying to outrun the heartbreak she'd left behind in Pyria. There she met other dragons, with sparkling colors and strange bodies with too many wings, in some cases. Their continent was smaller, and they had only two tribes. But at first, the newness of the situation was enough to distract her. Clearsight made friends, and learned their language, and taught them hers. She looked into the future and saw herself, and a family, and new dragons flying these blue skies and roaming the grassy prairies. But Clearsight could never entirely make peace with the fact that in all her futures here on Pentala, Darkstalker was always still trapped back home in Pyria, where she'd betrayed him and left him. Well, not all her futures, she supposed. For the first few years, she tried to make peace with it. Clearsight remembered his spells, and what he'd done to Arctic, and how he'd put a spell on her. She and Fathom had risked everything to stop him, for good reason. She had to remember that. Clearsight was the only Nightwing on all of Pintala. She was absolutely, desperately, alone. The Pintalans had no Animus dragons, at least none that she knew of, and she knew most everybody important these days. Clearsight had dragonets with Sunstreak, who was nothing like Darkstalker. He was funny and carefree in a way her first love had never been. Their dragonets were beautiful, funny little things. But all the while, Clearsight felt a growing sense of discontent, of sadness. These dragonets were not the ones from her youngling visions. They were not Darkstalkers. They were not perfect little ink-black nightwings. And finally, after spending nearly ten years in the new continent... Clearsight caved, and decided to go back to Pyria. She only wanted to visit, to see her old friends. Maybe she could find Fathom, or Listener, or Whiteout. She wanted to see her tribe, find out if they were okay. Her visions for them were so cloudy and hard to find these days. Maybe, if she went home, even for a little bit, she would be able to find some peace. Clearsight was surrounded by dragons all the time, and she'd never felt more lonely in her life. So, ignoring the prickling sense of foreboding that hung over her, she prepared to embark on the long ocean flight once again. When she finally made it back to Pyria, Clearsight was surprised to find that the Nightwings had completely disappeared. At first, she thought they would be easy enough to find, but every city or village she visited Dragons reacted with shock or suspicion, and in most cases she was the first Nightwing they'd seen since Darkstalker's defeat. The Night Kingdom was abandoned. It was a painful experience, visiting. The libraries were empty, the school full of dust and disintegrating projects. Even the palace was empty, though the gold and other riches had been stripped, at least. Once she determined that there were no Nightwings and no clues to be found, Clearsight left. It hurt too much to see her old life, the life she'd hoped to revisit, so completely, irreversibly gone. But surely the Nightwings themselves were not gone. She... she had stopped Darkstalker, she had sacrificed everything, and she'd stopped having the dark, dark dreams of her tribe's future. Hadn't it been enough? Hadn't her sacrifice been enough? She did not see the Nightwings in her visions anymore. Only flashes of dark wings, half-formed glimpses of glittering black scales. Clearsight could not find her tribe. She could not find Fathom. She didn't know where else to go. So she went to the mountain. The mountain where she'd left her love. The only thing she could find now. The mountain was exactly as she remembered it, even ten years later. Clearsight drifted down to land outside the cave. 
Inside this cave, she knew her love slumbered peacefully. Darkstalker. Now the only tie she had to her old life. Clearsight sat outside the cave for a long, long time, thinking and looking into the future and arguing with herself. She pleaded with herself and she berated herself. There were so many futures. Futures where she woke him up and they went to Pintala and they lived together, the two of them, and she wasn't so alone. There were futures where they retook the Night Kingdom and she abandoned her new tribes for the old one. And there were futures where Darkstalker woke in a rage and continued down the path he'd started a decade ago. Clearsight sat and thought and dithered for hours. The sun sank and the moon rose. Her time in Pintala had brought her to abandon her nocturnal habits, trading night for day. But she'd miss the cool, gentle calm of it. Hadn't she sacrificed enough? The night wings were gone. Arctic, white out, everyone was gone. Her and Darkstalker were it, and she was so lonely. Clearsight made up her mind. Darkstalker... Everything he feared was gone, right? His magic was gone, and they wouldn't find it. He would be different this time. They would go to Bentala and start a new life, and it would be okay. She wouldn't be alone anymore. She saw a new future. Nightwings, on Pintala, a new tribe. The Nightwings would survive, wherever they were on Pyria, and as a new tribe in Pintala. Clearsight got to her feet and strode into the cave. She knew what she wanted now. Yeah, so basically Clearsight and Darkstalker go to Pintala. Does Clearsight still write her book? Do Hivewings exist? Does Darkstalker go nuts? I wonder how an immortal, invulnerable mind reader would react to the breath of evil. Anyways, in other news, I got a new microphone. My old one felt like the quality had dropped, so I did a bunch of research and got a fancy new mic to work with. So we can look out for some better audio quality from here on out, which is exciting. There are some good things coming this year, so y'all keep an eye out. As always, remember to check out the links in the description. Feel free to check out my art on DeviantArt or buy merch at Redbubble. If you enjoyed this video, like or subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and have a blessed day. I'm alone, I'm a broken home, I gave you all the bricks that I own and know. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? If you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go